Hey guys, Anthony here with an overview and walkthrough of the user interface of SwiftView, which is an all-in-one PDF document editor that you can try for free. So I'm logged into my SwiftView account. This is the main dashboard that you see here. In this left side panel, you have three options. The Create button will open a blank PDF document, as you can see here, and will allow you to create a PDF document from scratch. Now, I'll be creating several tutorials on how to use various aspects of Swift 2. So, I won't cover specifics in this video, I'll only give you an overview of some of the key features. I'll click on the Home button to take me back to the main dashboard. You can use the Open button to open an existing PDF document. You'll see this dialog box to navigate to the folder and then open the specific PDF document. Let me close this. If you click on Settings, it'll open this dialog box with two tabs. In the Layout tab, you can set some defaults, for example, the Page View, the Document View, and the Page Background Color. In the General tab, you can set Swift2 as the default PDF viewer, automatically backup files, and the backup file location. And then click OK once you're done changing the settings. This will bring you back to the main dashboard. In this section, you have several options, like edit an existing PDF document, convert a PDF document to a Word document, convert a PDF to an image, merge several PDF documents into a single PDF document, split a PDF document into several documents, and finally compress a PDF document to reduce the file size. In this section down below, It'll display the most recent PDF files that you worked on. If you hover your mouse over a specific file, you'll see these buttons to remove the file, pin the file, and open the destination folder. If you click on the file, it'll take you into the view mode. In this section, you can change the orientation of the view. You can go with full screen, like so. Use the slideshow mode, or even split the screen into several windows as you can see here. In the Annotate tab, you can annotate the PDF document and then save it. In the Edit tab, you can edit the PDF document. Like I mentioned earlier, I'll be creating separate tutorials to show you how to do this. In the Convert tab, you can convert PDF files into Word, into an image, etc. In the Page tab, it displays all the pages in a specific PDF document, and here you can add or even delete specific pages. In the Advanced tab, you can password protect your document, you can watermark it, you can change the background, add a digital signature, reduce the file size using compression, and so much more. In the Share tab, you can share the PDF via email or add it to Dropbox or Google Drive. In the Help tab, you can update the software. You can provide your feedback to the development team. You can set up your default shortcuts in this dialog box. And the Settings section is the same as I showed you earlier. Finally, the Home button takes you back to the main dashboard. But that pretty much covers the overview and walkthrough. You can try Swift2 for free. Check the link in the description section. Well, hope you found this Swift2 overview helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.